sound and logical. Growing up in England, we were told, as in other places, to believe in a tooth fairy. But I became suspicious when my parents forgot to exchange my tooth for money. Now imagine being taught your entire life to believe in a character who swings around New York and is often seen near the Twin Towers, only to discover that this character is simply a myth designed to captivate the imaginations of dreamers. What if the Bible and its characters were created using myths and borrowed elements from neighbouring cultures, crafted to capture the attention of believers and dreamers in a similar way? Let me introduce you to He-Man. He-Man. First Chronicles chapter 25 verse 4 of He-Man. The sons of He-Man. Bukiah, Matania, Uziel, Shebel, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gidalti, and Ramamtiza, Joshbakoshar, Malathi, Harthia, and Mahaziath. Let me introduce you to King Solomon, who's also a notable character in the Hebrew mythology. But his actual name wasn't Solomon, it was actually called... And he called his name Jedidiah. 2 Samuel chapter 12 verse 25 And he sent by the hand of Nathan the prophet, and he called his name Jedidiah because of Yahweh. Now many of us might be aware of Clark Kent, aka Superman. And there's no name Clark Kent in the Bible, but there's a lot of similarities between Clark Kent, the only begotten son, of Joel, the only begotten son of Joel. What's also interesting is Jesus is known as the son of El Elyon, and both of these characters have episodes of resurrecting and being a savior for the people. Another interesting character we hear about is Samson, who just like Heman, has incredible strength. What's also interesting about Samson and Superman is that Samson's name means son, child, son born, even son light. Very, very, very interesting. A minor solar deity, Samson's name, Shemshin, recalls the common noun used for son, Zemes, as well as the proper noun that serves as the name of a solar deity in several Semitic languages, such as the Akkadian sun god Zamaz, has the ending sound and is a diminutive. His name means something like little, son, or if he is meant to be a demigod, son of the sun. Now in cultures that predate the Bible, you had a deity called Aya, who was the goddess of dawn, and her husband was called Shamash, who was the god of the sun. It's interesting when you start to look outside of the narrative, question the narrative, and do a thorough research of the narrative. The narrative starts to really, really fall apart and become really suspect and questionable. Don't be scared to question. Don't be scared to think. You have a brain. Use it. What's also quite revealing is that most of the characters included in the Bible are often found in the Quran. However, when it comes to the character of Samson, for some reason, he's missing from the Quranic tale. I mean, how could you miss that, that, that personality? I mean, the world's strongest man lifts up gates? He's a child of the sun? Like, how do you overlook and miss that character? Well, the lunar priest decided not to include him in the narrative, which is interesting. The immense popularity of certain cartoons, movies and stories is not solely due to their originality, but because they draw on familiar motifs and archetypes deeply embedded in popular culture.
While many of these themes are often claimed to have Abrahamic, Biblical, Quranic origins, they can also be traced back to older Canaanite, Egyptian, Ugaritic, Indian, Babylonian, African, etc. etc. These narratives resonate with a wide audience on an unconscious level because they tap into the universal themes of morality, heroism, sacrifice and redemption that we instinctively recognize. I mean, did you know The Lion King, as captivating as the story is, isn't exactly original. The inspiration behind The Lion King came from Shakespeare's Hamlet. England has two books, the Bible and Shakespeare. England made Shakespeare, but the Bible made England. Victor Hugo. Interesting. Again, I ask you, what if the Bible and many of the characters were based on myth? What if Moses, Solomon, David, Jacob, the main characters in this book were made of myth, stories borrowed from other cultures, written at later dates for political and social reasons? What if the character Yahweh an L in the Bible can be found in other cultures, but not with the same tone or demeanor. What if? Something you should investigate, something you should look into. Think, it's not illegal yet, brother, but they are working on it. Big up, bless up. One. Don't give me that my dog is dead face. <laughs> Come on, let's sing. Not sing. When Israel was in Egypt, man. <laughs> this is just retarded. Retarded. Sound and logical.